one out of every three voters did not vote uh, in the last presidential election in 2020. Uh, one out of every three eligible voters chose not to vote. And who were they? They were largely, uh, disproportionately, of color, young, and low income. Exactly the people to whom our agenda speaks. Yeah. So, you know, a lot about voting is indeterminate, and it's not mm-hmm. going to be predicted by polls because polls, you know, are, are by definition people who tend to vote. Sure. But what we're talking to are people who tend not to vote. Don't they also deserve a vote? And let me also cite the statistics that show the numbers are off the charts right now in terms of people who want other options. Yep. This is sampled every year by Gallup and, and also by Pew. But Gallup shows that the numbers now are 63% who are saying that the two parties are doing such a bad job of serving the public interest that 63% say we need another option, we need another major uh, uh, party. So it's like amidst all this indeterminate stuff, and you're absolutely right, you can't predict a lot of this. Are we going to clamp down and say, therefore shut down choices, therefore shut down uh, options when that's what people are demanding? Who wh- And why are people demanding it? Because they've been thrown under the bus for long enough by both parties, yeah. and they really want other options. So what we're saying is, let's give people those other options. If you're concerned about splitting the vote, so-called spoiled elections, there's a solution for that. It's called ranked choice voting. We have been <laughs> pushing that for 20 years, and the Democrats keep shutting it down. Yeah. Why do they shut it down? Because they want to extort your vote. They want to be able to use fear campaigning and smear campaigning because they don't want to face the music. 